Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'll be evaluating Sage 50, a cloud accounting software for the Fit Small Business Chapter 6 uh, case study, which deals with the project accounting. Uh, so, our first task is to create an estimate um, for a job. So, the only place I've been able to find estimates is I can't find it in the normal workflows, but under tasks, the first option here is quotes. Okay, and that's what they call estimates. So we're going to make a quote to Family Bowling, which I've already set up as a as a uh, customer. Okay, we're going to just allow it whatever date it wants. Let's put quote number one. We are going to set it up for uh, ten plumbing widgets, which we've already set up as an inventory item. So good, it's charging twenty five dollars. And here we're going to assign it to the. I've already set up a job for Family Bowling Kitchen Remodel. It uses job codes, so you can assign expenses to different job codes. Let's just assign these to the first one. And then also we're going to assign 10 hours of contract labor. Uh, $80, very good. And make sure it assigned it to that same yeah, designs. Okay, very good. Now, um, I notice it's not assigning any sales tax, but I'm sure that's just because I don't have plumbing widgets set up right. So again, we're doing this evaluation in the test drive software. Um, and so every time I leave the software, it resets everything. Uh, so I had to just qu quickly set up plumbing widgets and I'm sure it's just not set up right because obviously right here it's gonna charge sales tax. So I have no doubt it will do that properly once the inventory item is set up properly. So here is our quote. Um, let's see if we can print it. Let's look at a print preview. Okay, there we go. Um, if we had, you know, entered that information in the customer record, it would all be there. So a very vanilla looking estimate, but it is functional, um, but not great looking. Okay, so there is our estimate. So I'm going to go over here to our uh, case study analysis here and fill out the scorecard so we're able to create an estimate we can assign uh, labor to it and inventory to it and sales tax to it okay now we need to explore whether we can uh, compare actual to estimates and so this is a sophisticated software it will do this but it's not simple um, so let's just kind of look at some of its capabilities so if we go to reports um, in our job reports, we can see the type of reports that we can print out. Um, so we can print an estimated job expenses, which will show us our estimated versus actuals by job. And so here we have all of our different jobs, and here they are by phase ID. Um, so we can see estimated units, um, actual units were none for the permits phase. We expected one unit. We used actual units. So good. So this gives us a very detailed um, analysis of our actual to expected costs. So that can be very useful. Again, this is a very powerful project accounting software, but also fairly complicated. Um, this is not something you're going to master overnight. It's going to take considerable effort on your part, but if kind of these long-term projects that you can benefit from the different phases of the projects, um, if that's a big part of your business, like you're a construction company, uh, then it's probably worth spending the time to learn this sophisticated project management um, accounting. Really, whatever software you go with is probably going to be uh, have some learning curve with it. You know, just that's just kind of life. The more sophisticated the the uh, program, the longer it's going to take to learn. Um, but it is very powerful, just not real user friendly. You'll have to put in some effort for it. Um, so good, so it has great project accounting, um, just not simple to use, which is okay given the level of sophistication. So that's chapter six of our Fit Small Business case study.